Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about two different audio techniques, one called ducking and the other called notching. Sometimes you want to have a soundtrack or other noise over the, the back of your dialogue. Uh, so what I have set up here is a soundtrack, a song, and then here is my dialogue. And if you play those together, My dialogue is pretty well uh, drowned out. Um, the beginning part didn't have any dialogue in it. Let's cut that out and move this forward. Listen to that again. So it's just drowned out. So we have two different options. One is ducking and one is notching. What you can do for ducking is you take your, your soundtrack audio, your music audio, and you go to the audio tab here and you can volume down so that it's uh, quieter. Let's give that a shot now. Another use. Not bad. We can probably turn up the dialogue volume, see what that sounds like. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen over a, a period of time or apply animations to several objects. That's not too bad. Of course, we might get to a spot when I'm done talking, we want the music to get loud again. So we'll go ahead and select add audio point and it puts an audio point there in the volume. And by this point, we want it to be back to full volume. So let's go ahead and drag that up. And now let's listen to that as it has a smooth uh, increase in volume. If I would like this gentleman. So that works pretty good right here. So that balances out pretty nice. I like that. So that's called ducking. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen over a, a period. Of it's still kind of loud. Let's go ahead and lower this. Give it a shot now. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen over a, a period of time or apply animations to several objects. For example, if I would like this gentleman Okay, that's not too bad. Um, however, there's a more advanced way that makes it a little bit easier and makes it so you don't have to duck so badly here and try to balance out those two sounds. And it's called notching. Notching is when you take the vocal frequency of your speaker and you subtract that frequency from um, your, your other audio tracks, from your other dialogue. Now, unfortunately, this isn't something you can do in Camtasia. You'll need to do it in another audio software. I've chosen to do it in Adobe Audition. Now you can do this in, in any uh, audio editing software that has a frequency analysis or some way to evaluate the frequency. Now what I've pulled up in here is uh, my vocal track, my audio track um, from, from this segment of Camtasia. This is the, the, the portion of me talking. So as I pull it up in Audition, I can play it back right here. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen. You can see my, my vocal frequency there. Now to know really where my frequency is, we'll have to listen to some silence. If we listen to this beginning silence, you can see right here down at the bottom, there is still sort of a hum. There is some noise. So we'll, we'll put that as the bass uh, the the base for silence and then when we play it again another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen okay and so here we when I was talking you can see that there was there is some considerable growth not as much growth here as there was growth here and here my voice generally tends to be between 10 kilohertz and 15 kilohertz right in here so that's going to be the vocal range that we want to pull out of our music, of our soundtrack. So I'll go ahead and come and select that song, unmute it and select it. And uh, let's mute my, my voice. We're also gonna get rid of these markers since we know it's 10 and 15. Let's go ahead and play this song. And you can see it's pretty even across the board. So we need to pull out the 10 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz right in here. We'd like to notch that. So I, once I've got it selected, 
I'm going to create a filter and a notch filter. And I'll go ahead and take this one, this first notch, and drag it over to 10 kilohertz. Right here it says 10 kilohertz. Now this is a narrow notch, but it's still going to flatten way more frequencies than just the frequencies that I'm interested. So I'm going to change this to be very narrow. So it'll really flatten those. And then let's take the six and try to find the top of where we want it to be flattened. We want it about 15 kilohertz, right about there. Now you see it, it kind of puffs up there in the middle. So I'm going to use these other pieces uh, to kind of flatten the noise there in the middle. Try to widen this hole. And they'll work together to help make that a real big hole. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. So now when we play that, let's watch this waveform. You see it's totally flattened, completely flattened in the, the 10 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. Let's turn that off and see how the sound differs. Put it back on. But now let's compare those with my audio, with my dialogue track, and we will turn that up a little bit. I mean, we'll still have a little bit of volume differences. So that's a little bit easier, um, a lot easier actually, to hear my voice. Um, the thing is, is that when your ear hears hears two noises that are in the same frequency, it starts to uh, blend those two things together. So let let's listen to this with uh, without the notch. Another use for grouping is to allow animations to happen. And and you can't really see. Um, a difference when my voice starts playing on the music. So right here, let's watch. We know it's between the 10 and the 15. Another use for there's not really a change in the frequency. Um, so there's there's a lot of your brain getting confused with the with my vocal patterns and uh, the music. But if we turn that notch on, another use for you can definitely see that this entire frequency segment is is devoted to my voice and that makes it a lot easier another use for to tell what I'm saying in that segment now what that does is your ears are hearing so many frequencies at a time that when there's two uh, sounds coming in on the same frequency your brain has a hard time translating those two uh, frequencies into separate pieces it starts to mix them together and it makes it a little bit harder to understand what someone is saying so when you wipe out the frequencies from your voice, from your background music, your voice really sticks out. It really stands out in your project. And having some background noise really, really helps you in your videos. Um, so what I can do is, is, is export this audio file as a, as a new song that has the, the notch in it, slide it into Camtasia, and I won't have to duck out as much, if at all if I have um, a fully notched track. Now it's important to have some background music or sounds every once in a while. When you're recording your audio into a computer microphone, a lot of the time very few frequencies are coming through. I have a fairly nice microphone here that I'm using and it's picking up a wider variety of, of my sound, but not all microphones will pick up the full spectrum. If we go back into that frequency analysis, you can see that it's picking up everything from 2 kilohertz all the way up to 22 kilohertz. But when you listen to the silence on this microphone, let's listen to it here. Just in background sound, there's, there's noise here um, all the way up to uh, about 13 and a half kilohertz. But if you're recording with some microphones, they're only going to pick up uh, a small range of frequencies and if you only listen to a certain range of frequencies for a long period of time that actually fatigues your ears and can make your audience uh, start to have ear fatigue which is very bad um, it'll start to give them headaches um, it'll, it'll ultimately make them pretty annoyed but if you have some sort of background sound background music or something else that will fill in the other frequencies it makes it much less harsh on your ears um, something that I've started doing when I'm watching tutorials that don't have any background noise. 
I'll turn on either movie soundtracks or video game soundtracks because those are quite often songs um, that already have been notched. They they're already been notched for the movies uh, or for video games so that they don't don't get distracting with the dialogue. So notching is a very very useful tool, and I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day. Good luck.